Hey everybody, how's it going? Bloomsling here. Welcome to my channel. So, it's that day of the week again. It's time for Filthy Binder Friday. And today we have another nice filthy binder. Belonged to Art, I guess, at one time. Because it's dark blue, you can't see all the dirt, but maybe you can, you can see the reflection of the dirt coming off of it that way. That's pretty dirty. But now let's get into this, right? So let's get a little zoom in here. See what we're looking at for this episode of Filthy Binder Friday, which is, should be episode number five now, right? So here we go. Yeah, let's open this up. It's another small binder, so shouldn't be that long of a, a video, right? Oh, look, one empty page already. Okay. Who do we got here? We got Frank Thomas. We got a lot of big names. Thomas, Thomas. Um, these cards are pretty beat up. Look at this one. How boogered up that one is. These are pretty boogered up here. Let's see this one here. This Juan Comardi is all dog-eared down here. Cupy Brooks doesn't look all that grand. Creasing. and But then we have a Will Clark, two Frank Thomas, and a Ken Griffey Jr. So um, we got five really junky cards from the 84 Tops set. Then I'll go straight in the, you know, pile. Next. So there we go. Yeah. Four there. Next we have, oh, this one's got a crease across it, it looks like. Yep, creased. So you see the crease right there. And we have some older tops, but this one's all creased up. It's going to be a little hard to see until we, there we get the reflection on there. Oh, yeah. 78 tops. It's got gum stain on it. Yep, got the old gum stain right there. Not only is this a filthy binder, but it's a filthy, trashy binder. That's all boogered up. Here's another one with the crease. The whole, I think these were like they're all on the same page and got creased. There's a crease right there. Again, we'll get the reflection to look at it, if we can. If not, you're just going to take my word for it. Right there it is. And this one here's got a crease in it. You can see it right through there. There you go. You can see it there. And this one's all messed up with Buddy Black. It is just like was in someone's pocket. So yeah, it, even the uh, that's got some kind of scum stain on it, and gum stain on the back. Awesome, very nice. Moving on, we may end up throwing a lot of these away. This is like it got wet. This card literally looks like it got wet or overdone with ink. Something doesn't look right on that one. Oh, look, and they wrote all over it. Very nice. Personalized cards. This one's in a uh, penny sleeve, but it feels like it got wet, so it's probably not good. And it's all colored on anyway, so really mocks Nick's the whole deal there doesn't matter it just doesn't matter it just doesn't matter the, the tape is all gummy even creases there on the corner yeah I think we're gonna have a lot of junk cards but we'll go through them I'm, I'm gonna spray you the uh, the trashiness but this is by far the worst um, binder so far. Creases on that. Just all boogered. Like they took every bad card they could find and look at this. They colored it all in red. 
Who does that? Frank Pastor. Look at that. Colored it all in red. And this one, is this stuck in a scrapbook or something? Yep, it's got creases, glue. Ah, oh, right, next one. Oh, look at this one here. This is a shame here. Look at that. Oh, boogered up glue or I don't know what's on there. That's a shame there. This is all colored in. This is creased. This is creased. Why would you even put these in a binder? Who does this stuff? It's Joe Morgan, 73 Joe Morgan is chewed up on the corner. Phil Nico's dog-eared corner. Del Unser got wet or something. Wow. Anyway, Willie McCovey, 78. Anything on the backs? No, no, no. This one's creased right down the center of the card. There it is. Earl Weaver times two. This one's looking boogered up. So is the other one. I'm going to go through. This one's all boogered up. Fred Lynn. Got a lightning bolt going right through the through his card here. Some 75 tops. Look at that. Nice. Probably all messed up too. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Colored in. Checklist. 75 tops. Another 75 tops. Any big names here yet? Nope, 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 No personalizations on the back. Here's some more 75 tops. This one got folded over. This Mike Lum is all faded out. I'm just going to flip that over like that, so... Cards away. More 75. This one's all faded out. Side loaders. This one's all messed up. Colored on the back. Next. Ooh, some 72 colored in. A lot of blue. Hall of Famer Ted Simmons. Pittsburgh Pirates. Team card number one. I believe that's one that I'm missing from the 72 set. The Pirates team photo. Some 85 tops. I think there's gum stain on this one. You see the gum? The outline of the gum right there. Go to the back. There it is. Gum stained. Who does this? Who would even waste their time putting these in a binder? All wrinkled up, creased up. <sighs> Tom Minnesota. This is the worst Donnie Baseball, though. We got a Donnie Baseball. Got some wax stainage on the back of them. Wax stains. More 87 tops. Ooh, that's all stuck together. Um... Sparky Anderson, Joe Carter, some more wax stainage. These are the whole thing here is messed up. This one's got a crease right there. This one's got a crease right here. Al Pedrique creased. Nothing personalized on the back. Oh, some Yaz. 79 Yaz. 77 Yaz. But, creased up. 78's all boogered up. There you gotta see him. This one's all boogered up there. 
Hard to see, but it is, trust me. Take my word on that. It wouldn't be tossing them if they weren't. Mr. Hitting the Crotch with a Ball Guy. Keith Comstock. That's an iconic photo. Uh, let's see, we got Al Roboski, the Mad Hungarian. Some 78 tops here. Yeah, these cards are such a wreck. This is like a train wreck. Got Greg Nettles, some South Bandos, Yankees team card. Uh, any artwork on the back? No, yeah, there's artwork here. Yeah, they call it in all that. Thing. Deet, 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 deet. Man, what's going on there? But they messed up that Bill Madlock, 78. Here we got a Topps Gold card. And it looks actually good enough to keep. Look at that. It's a keeper. Oh, no. Look at that. Got stain on the back. Ah. Look at this. Look at this. Let's just jam it in there and, and mess up that corner all on our own. Another messed up corner. Let's just <laughs> jam them in there. Who do we have put these in here? Like a, a three-year-old? Hall of Famer, Bruce Suter. Who just recently passed away. Rest in peace, Bruce Suter. I believe he was like 69 years old. That card's going to go rest in peace. Ooh, ooh, here's an oldie. Pappas, Fisher, and Walker. And it's from 60 or 61. Might be 61. It's all boogered up. But I'm sure I don't have it. So that'll be one that needs an upgrade. Any artwork on the back? Yeah, no, not really, no. No special personalized artwork on the back of these cards. Jim Rice. Very nice. Oh, you know, ripped up. That's a little, just a little bit of paper lost there. Just a little bit there. Sorry, John Curtis. Yeah, you got uh, yeah, stuck in the uh, scrapbook. Uh, 88 Dunruss, like, who really cares about 88 Dunruss with no special artwork. Some more 88 Dunruss with Tom Glavin. Very nice. Tom Glavin, first year Glavin card. Yep, that's a rookie. Um, I don't know if that's hair or what's in there. Maybe a lock of uh, Glavin's hair. I am not sure what all is going on. Oh, it's just on the paper. Oh, and I just touched it. All right, well, uh -huh. we just transferred that over to that. Eesh, okay. That was one giant pube. All right. Oh. 78 bird campaners, all boogered up. Yep. This is one of the most disgustingly disappointing um, <sighs> filthy binders for Friday ever yet to date. I don't think I'll ever have one worse than this. So write this one down in your calendars and uh, yeah. Oh, look, like they put a K there. I'm like, oh, the Har that the Terry Harmon looks pretty good. Nope, someone broke K right there. Don't get it unless it's on the penny sleeve. Nope, that is clearly on the card. Look at that. That is weird. What? Oh. Whatever, people drive me nuts. Billy Buckner. Wade Boggs. Matt the Bat Williams. And no special artwork other than coloring in of the... Team checklist. This 78 league leaders, betting leaders, is trash. This 80 Willie Wilson is creased up trash. This 75 George Scott is 100% trashed. If I can get the reflection right for... Look at the creases in that baby. 
Yeah, there's another Terry Harmon that is absolutely filthy. That is like they must like they drilled a hole right through the top of his head there. We do have a Donnie baseball. Got to be something wrong with that one, right? Oh yeah, a little crease in right there. Sure, I need special artwork on the backs. Oh, some spooge there. All right, what's next? Oh, we have a Jay Buhner Tops gold card. Let's see if that's any good. I don't look at, uh, nope, look at this. If I can get the reflection right, it's all creased up right there. See the crease, look at that. That whole corner is done. Another one wrecked. The 75, Willie Mays and Zalio for Zalas. 71, World Series game number one, Boog Pow. All creased up. Of course, that's Johnny Bench catching. Look at that. Again, that one's all creased up. It's disgusting. Ugh. I don't even want to continue. Any special artwork on the back? Not at this time. Huge chunk of paper loss there on the 73 Rob Gardner. But you know what? The corners are messed up anyway. So that's it. Oh, looky, looky. Now these I can use if they're any good. Please, God. If there's a God, if there's a baseball card, God, these cards will be good because I need some of these to, to go into my set. What's on the back side? Oh, Michael Jack Schmidt all effed up. Two Schmidts all effed up. Oh, tape. What? They got tape on this one. Scotch taped it. Who does that? See that sheen right there along the top? Who does that? Son of a... And Schmitty's just all creased up. Look at that. Cha-ching. How oh, many more of these have tape? Tape. Pete Rose is all effed up. Tape on that one. Ah, oh, Babe Ruth's going to have tape. They're all going to have tape. I'm going to be so disappointed. Because the rest of the cards look really good. Except for that. I got Mike Schmidt all boogered up. Tape. Along the top there again. See the shiny? That is going to tape. 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 Sheffield. Let's just get rid of all these cards. This whole binder should be just thrown in the trash. That's just miscut. It's miscut. What can I say? It is just miscut. Tape on the Gehrig. Man, if it wasn't for this tape and this one being severely, severely miscut, like someone cut this one on their own, because this is not to official size. He's like, I don't like that white border. Let's just cut it off. There we go. Oh, it looks so much better this way, doesn't it? What do you think, Margaret? Does that look good to you, Margaret? I mean, why, 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 why put all this extra white on there when, when you really don't need the white border? No, 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 no. You don't need that extra white border. Nah, white borders are overrated. Yeesh. Walter Johnson. And that bugger did not have tape on it. Did not have tape. This one's got tape. Mickey Cochran. Who, by the way, that's who Mickey Mantle was named after. Mickey Cochran. His dad. Oh, tape up here. Even this one here. Looking good. Except for that dang tape. What are you gonna do? Ty Cobb with tape. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All those were in really nice shape, and they had tape on. So that just ruined them. How about a Violet, Violet Blue rookie card? Looks like it's got tape as well. I guess we... Uh, no, 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 no tape. No tape. All right. That's... Uh, the tape's on the back side. Son of a... Beep. That one looks okay. For being a junk card. Willie McCovey's got tape on it. Oh my god. Willie McCovey's got tape on his. And of course. No one cares about this Fleer. 
the cubby's got tape. Ah, this Amos Otis looks okay. Nope, tape. And Eddie Murray with no tape. All right, well, we're not going to keep pulling them out. Uh, we're going to have tape on them. All tape, 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 and tape. What's on the back side? Got a gold card there. Probably all boogered up. Yep, I see stains on it. Probably all boogered up. I'm like, yep, it's got stains on it. There's the little piece of tape on that. Rennie Stennett. And there's all the... Oh, and a big giant crease. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, big crease there on uh, Willie Banks. Look at that crease. <sighs> ah, I don't even want to keep looking. I don't want to keep going. But we're going to. You hate to see it. These all have tape on them. Every one of these have tape on them. Tape. No tape. And it's perfect card. All have tape. Tony Oliva. Bobby Bonds. Of this one doesn't, but the corner's all chewed up. And this one's um, like it got wet or something. The corner's all chewed up. Who's on the other side? You got a McGuire. That one will be okay, of course, right? Not all boogered up. No tape or anything on it. Nope. That's a good one. And Oliver got tape. The 70, 74 Philadelphia Phillies team is just lightning bolted right across the center. Yeah, nah, doing really good with this binder. Please, God, when will it be over? Yes, this guy's been through the spokes. Poor Marvin the Martian. Severely missed cut, rusty stab. Mo Bo's been through the spokes as well. He's got a nice crease right through his face. Oh, you can see that there, but there it is. Way to go. This one, uh, so so. Uh, let's see. Yep. Any artwork? No, 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 no. All right, well, other than being severely miscut on this one. Mm, nope. Yeah, I miscut that one is. Ed Rona. Yeah, just disgusting. Just utterly disgusting binder. Not, not, probably not more than 20 cards can be salvaged out of that, which really is disappointing because I really wanted, like, I really wanted to try to save these because these are all in good shape except for the tape, which means if you take the tape off, you're guaranteed paper loss. The Vita Blue does look good. This one's all jacked up. That one's all jacked up. Vita Blue. Terry Harmon, it's got a stupid K on it. Tape, 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 tape. Guys, that's it. I wasted 24 minutes of your time. That is 24 plus minutes that out of your life that you will never get back. Sorry about that. I have to apologize. But what do you expect when you tune in for a filthy binder Friday? That's what you get. Some real filth. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. This is Boomslang signing out, saying peace. We'll see you, Willie, with the tape in the next one. Have a great weekend, everyone. We'll be back with some mail call. And not sure what the weekend's going to bring.